Hey, it's Jose and Heather here. We're down here on the start finish line. Fans taking photos of themselves, signing autographs on the start finish line so the drivers can get more support as they're driving over it. That's what definitely. I feel, right? Yeah, oh yeah, I would definitely, if I was a driver here, I would just be like, oh yeah, I just ran over the go Kyle Busch or go Heather DeVoe, you know, it'd be awesome, right? That would be, that would be pretty cool. That would make me want to race faster. Definitely. We got some fans here from London, Kentucky. Are you guys having a good time? Yes. I love it. It's Bristol, baby, right? It's Bristol, baby. <laughs> so we're going to take a quick little photo here. All right, let's get in. Here we go. All right, take our picture. Here we are on the start finish line. Smile. Nice. All right, here we go, guys. Here's a little Sharpie. Get down there and put a little word of encouragement. Sign your name. It's Bristol, baby. Well, let's find out and see how drivers sign their autographs. Hey, it's Jose and Heather. We're down here, and it is super pass day with all these fans. We found somebody special, didn't we, Heather? Yes, we did. We found Kenny the Herminator Wallace. <laughs> How's it going this morning, Kenny? Doing good. Just doing a little pre-race, uh, you know, work for Fox Sports. We were over in turns two talking about the banking, and uh, I was pleasantly surprised to see all these fans walking around the racetrack. Uh, you know, I've raced here a lot, 57 races or more. Wow. But when I walked up the track, it reminded me how high bank this track is. <laughs> it's steep. I mean, it's like a ski slope up there. It's pretty wild and crazy. Speaking of wild and crazy things, you got the opportunity to do something pretty special yesterday. Uh, tell me a little bit about your um, experience with Colossus TV. Well, Colossus, uh, the TV is incredible. As you've been talking about all week long, both of you, you know, it's the world's largest center hung TV. The cables are incredible. But anyway, we did a special on Fox Sports about it, and uh, I got to experience it. So I wanted to go up in a cable, and, and they told me no right at the last minute. So they took us up in the uh, crane, and then I uh, ended up going 30 feet by myself, climbing up to the very top. So 110 feet from the ground to the bottom of it, then another 30 feet, like 130 feet all the way to the top. Uh, what was it? Lar larger than my rental homes. My rental homes are 1,300 square foot. This is 1,400. It's literally a damn building hanging in the middle of the sky. So I, I got to tell you, Heather, I, I was a little... A little afraid yeah are you afraid of heights or are you okay with heights because I would not be able to do that whatsoever you can't get me 10 feet off the ground without me freaking out well I'm from st. Louis Missouri and I've gone up in the arch which is like 630 something feet in the air and, and that seemed to be okay I, I'm not so much afraid of heights as I am a falling you know <laughs> it's like you know I might fall because uh, going up in the crane was a little nervy but then when I had to go up 30 feet by myself uh, that was a little concerning, but you know, listen, I just want to say that uh, Marcus Smith and his dad, Bruton, and everybody at SMI, Speedway Motorsports Incorporated, there's no telling how many millions and millions of dollars that they put into the Colossus TV uh, for all the fans to enjoy the experience here, not just for these NASCAR races, but for the Tennessee, Virginia Tech uh, big game. That's right. Well, we've got a little footage. Let's take a look at it up on Colossus TV here. This is Kenny Wallace going up inside Colossus TV. We're usually on the track, but today we're going above the track. The Bristol Motor Speedway has something the world has never seen. It's the largest center home TV in the universe. It's the Colossus TV. Oh my, as if my head couldn't get any bigger, right? Let me, how do I turn this thing off? Let me take you up inside the control room. Come on. We've made it to the most advanced control room in all of NASCAR. Mission control for the Colossus TV. 20 people and all these computers to get this big baby up and running for you. Now I have a surprise. We are gonna go up inside of it. Six Flags thinks they have something on this plane. You gotta trust the gear. I have disability insurance still. Holy moly, we're headed up to the Colossus TV. Woo, I'm way up, baby. We finally made it up here. And now I see why they call it the Colossus TV. It's three stories high, three technicians. It's a building hanging in the sky. 
Adam is one of the technicians. How many 50 inch screen TVs are there? Over 1,200 TV screens. How long did it take to build? Over six months. And what do you do when the wind starts blowing? We clip in and hang on. <laughs> oh yeah, it's a little crazy. Danielle, could I please come down now? Hi, I'm Eric Amarola. Welcome to Bristol. It's a beautiful day here at Bristol Motor Speedway, and it's warm out there, so we got to quench our thirst a little bit. We have some contestants here from Atlanta, and Heather, we're going to play a little Mountain Dew Would You Rather taste test game. Yes, because we're down here, they're sampling, so you can make a dew decision, and you can choose between, between two different flavors. So you have the Pitch Black or the Baja Blast. Now, they also said you can share this socially, so if you want to come down and try one, pick your favorite, send it out, and Mountain Dew might make it and then everybody will have it. Ooh, but nice. right now, we're gonna do with Miss Janine and Chris. They're gonna do a taste test and they're gonna let us know which they would rather have. All right, cool. So go cool. ahead and uh, give it a little taste All test All right, we're there. gonna start with Pitch Black. Then we're gonna move on to the Baja Blast. All right, what do you think? All right, I think I like the Pitch Black. I like the Baja Blast. <laughs> Can't agree on anything, right? <laughs> Definitely. <We're married. laughs> Well, would you rather have one of these? You can find out, come down here and get a taste test, but let's throw it up to a video. Before we do that, I'm gonna ask you one more question. Would you rather be in Walking Dead or Jurassic Park? Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park. Why, why Jurassic Park as opposed to zombies? <laughs> Self-explanatory. <laughs> the, uh, the, <laughs> the zombies are relentless. The zombies are relentless. T-Rex has little arms. I feel like you could escape <laughs> his grasp. <laughs> little tiny T-Rex yeah, arms. Yeah. Tiny T-Rex arms. I'd be worried about those velociraptors, though, because those are really fast. I don't know if I could outrun them. And so. smart, too. And yeah. smart, too. Yeah. Uh, zombies are not the that smart. They always get away, though. In the movies, they always get away. Well, we asked some drivers the same question. Let's see what their responses are up on Colossus TV. And we're back. Having some fun down here on the track. I've been giggling it up with these three gentlemen here. They drove how many kilometers, did you say? 3,100 kilometers. Yeah, That's so like a million when you transfer it to miles, yeah, right? Yeah, they came a long way to be here at Bristol, <laughs> but we're going to have some fun with them today. We got Greg, Sean, and Bob. We're going to ask them some ridiculous questions, right, Jose? That's right, ridiculous questions. And uh, we may even have some guys that you're playing up against. You may see that up on Colossus TV. So are you ready for your first ridiculous question? Of course. All right, here we go. First question, if you were a woman, what would your name be? Go. Gladys. <laughs> Gladys, right out of the bat, <laughs> bang, all right. Marilyn. Marilyn, all right. Joan. Joan, solid, good name, I like that, well done. I, you realize you now have a nickname that you're gonna have to carry the rest of your life. Yes, and I, I, I'm a little disappointed they didn't say Heather. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah. Heather's too long, it's only seven letters. Yeah, but mine's only three. You're and right, Bob. What about Bob? Oh. I don't well, know. You can spell it backwards in the mirror and it still looks the same. <laughs> You're right, it does. This guy's a smarty one. He huh? really is good. All right, so next ridiculous question, gentlemen, is going to be, if your appliances came alive, which one would you be most afraid of? The oven. That's a good answer. How about you? The dishwasher. Mm. Oh, da -na 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 -na. <laughs> My fridge. <laughs> what what is in your fridge? That's what I want to know. Uh, science projects sometimes. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. Great job handling those questions. Let's see how the drivers fared. We're down here with Nancy and Shannon live in the Super Pass area, having fun out here on the track walk. How are you guys doing? Are you having fun out here today? Absolutely, having a blast. I love it. Now, you guys are all the way from Florida, and this is your first time at Bristol, but why? This is a very special occasion. It's our 10-year anniversary surprise present for Shannon. Nice! Big round of applause, please, for our 10th anniversary couple. And in order to help you celebrate that, we thought we'd ask you a little newlywed game question. What do you think about that? Sure. Let's go. <laughs> All right, here we go. I'm going to ask it to both of you. I want you to name her favorite song. Favorite song? Oh, God, I have no idea. What's your favorite? Do you have a favorite song? <laughs> oh, man. That's no pressure. for me, right? Um, Take a guess. 
<laughs> Amazing Grace. Yay! Oh, all right. <laughs> well done. All right, now for you, for him, uh -oh. what is his favorite snack food? Popcorn. Absolutely. Hey, all right. They have been married for 10 years. Congratulations. Now, one last thing. Are you guys excited about the concert that we're getting ready to see? Yes. I was just saying that this is our very first Old Fogey concert. <laughs> <laughs> well, the Doobie Brothers are going to be playing. It is going to be a fantastic thing. And again, our age, our age generous. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love it. I'm excited for it, too. It's going to be a blast. But let's throw it up on Colossus TV and see how some drivers and their crew chiefs fared in a newlywed game. All right. Well, I tell you what, that was a really fun newlywed game that we just played up there with the Joe Gibbs drivers. But I have another couple here with me. I've got Natalie and Terry. They're from West Virginia. And Terry, we were talking earlier. You said Bristol was the first race you came to, and you love this track. You've been coming here for how long? Uh, since 1990. Um, came here to see Jeff Gordon for the first time, and I've been a fan ever since. So a huge Jeff Gordon fan, Natalie actually told me not to say this, but when she met him, he had a whole room full of Jeff Gordon memorabilia. Natalie, were you in a NASCAR when you met him? Um, actually, I, I was. I knew who Jeff Gordon was, but I had never seen a room like that in my life. No, had not. <laughs> well, that's okay. I don't think Terry's alone. All of these fans down here around me are all like, yeah, I got a room like that as well. But we were talking about he has never met Jeff Gordon, but we're gonna, no. you're going to try to hunt him down. What's your plan, Terry, to hunt Jeff Gordon down today? Well, I'm just hoping that he's seeing me right now and has mercy and lets me uh, just meet him. Uh, I was uh, married on his birthday, so I'm a big Jeff Gordon fan. That is huge. Now, the only thing that would make you a bigger Jeff Gordon fan is if you had a tattoo, like a 24. No, you don't got that, do you? No, no, I don't have a tattoo. <laughs> I've seen it. Believe me, one of the best fans I ever saw with tattoos was I was in Watkins Glen, and his back, I mean, from shoulders all the way down to here, was a collage of Dale Earnhardt Jr. and Sr. Cars, faces. I think he had Richard Petty here. It was amazing. So I think you need to work on that, Terry. Well, I have every collectible that's possible uh, that Jeff Gordon has. Uh, everything from sh shot glasses to stand up, full size cardboard uh, pictures of him, everything. Everything. A whole room. <laughs> well, I don't think we're going to find a bigger. Jeff Gordon fan here, but we're getting ready to do the Doobie Brothers at 1120. We were talking about how awesome they are. You're a big fan, Terry. What's your favorite Doobie Brothers song? I just love Doobie Brothers, period. Just every song. I love them all. I think, I think I'd have to go with China Grove, China right? China Grove is great. China Grove is great. Yep. All right. Well, we got a lot of nods, especially from the gentleman over here. He said, oh, yeah. We're getting ready for a lot of good stuff coming up here. Driver intros, pre-race concert. It's going to be awesome. You guys better stick around. Well, I'm... 